Eric Ten Hag tells his Man United bosses Cristiano Ronaldo should never play for them again in crisis talks which delayed his family holiday as he tries to protect unity among his furious teammates. As we reported last night, crisis meetings were held between Eric Ten and the Man United hierarchy, and the results of that meeting have now surfaced. Eric Ten Hag has told Manchester United bosses that Cristiano Ronaldo should never play for them again after his bombshell interview with Piers Morgan. Among a number of explosive claims thrown against his current employers, the Portuguese superstar said he felt betrayed by the Red Devils and that he doesn't respect Ten Hag. ESPN have reported that Ten Hag has delayed his family holiday in the fallout from Ronaldo's astonishing interview and has demanded that the 37-year-old never play for the club again. The Dutchman feels Ronaldo has gone too far in his criticism of the club and against himself and held a meeting with co-chairman Joe Glazer, chief executive Richard Arnold and football director John Murdoff to express his views on Monday. It's also said that a number of players are furious at the timing of the strikers' outburst which first came to light on Sunday, feeling it took away from their victory just hours earlier. Manchester United secured a dramatic victory over Fulham, in which teenager Alejandro Garnacho stole the headlines with his stoppage time winner. Though Ten Hag still feels a motivated Ronaldo could contribute in a positive manner during the second half of the season, he is not willing to sacrifice unity within the squad by keeping the Portuguese international. It means United could be a man short in the second half of the season, as Ten Hag would be willing to let Ronaldo leave Old Trafford, even if they can't find a placement during the January transfer window. Before starting work at his new club, Ten Hag said in May that he couldn't wait to work with Ronaldo, one of the greatest players of all time. However, the relationship has been a strenuous one with Ten Hag twice disciplining Ronaldo since July. He was first reprimanded for leaving their preseason friendly with Rayo Vallecano early before he was left out of the squad for a match after his refusal to come on as a substitute against Tottenham. Ronaldo, who was the club's player of the year and top goalscorer last season, has had a far more reduced role since Ten Hag stepped into the role. He has often been used as a substitute, with just four Premier League starts so far this campaign. In his interview with Morgan on Talk TV, which has been drip-fed since Sunday, Ronaldo claimed that Ten Hag doesn't respect him. He said, I don't have respect for him because he doesn't show respect for me. Some people, they don't want me here. Not only the coach, but the other two or three guys. Not only this year, but last year too. Honestly, I shouldn't say that. But listen, I don't care. People should listen to the truth. In his interview, Ronaldo also stated that Manchester United doubted his daughter was ill in hospital when he arrived back late for preseason training. Ten Hag was not the only person to be targeted by Ronaldo during his interview. He hit out at former United interim boss Ralph Rangnick saying he wasn't even a coach and had never heard of him. Ronaldo also accused Sky Sports pundit and former teammate Gary Neville of using him to be more famous and also hit back at Wayne Rooney, who labeled his behavior as unacceptable. Since the interview, Ronaldo has met up with his Portuguese teammates ahead of the World Cup in what is likely to be his last chance at winning football's grandest prize. In other news, Ralph Rangnick responds to Cristiano Ronaldo's scathing comments about his credential. Former Manchester United interim boss Ralph Rangnick has replied to Cristiano Ronaldo's hurtful comments about him. Ronaldo gave an interview to Piers Morgan, in which he came out guns blazing against several people associated with United. One person that came to the fore and was a centerpiece of the shocking excerpts was Ralph Rangnick. Ronaldo publicly and mockingly questioned Rangnick's comments in his bombshell interview with Morgan. The 37-year-old said about the German football manager, if you're not even a coach, how are you going to be the boss of Manut? I'd never even heard of him. Rangnick has replied to Ronaldo's comments but refused to be pulled into sparring with the five-time Ballon d'Or winner or engaging in a public spat. Cronin Zeitung via Sport Witness reports on Rangnick's response, I'm the team boss of Austria's national team, it's not my job to judge that. The ex-United interim boss added, the job of Manchester United and the sports journalists. Rangnick's spell at United was a disaster. Clearly, the players were not playing for him and did not buy into his vision. Out of all the players who did not put in an effort for Rangnick, Ronaldo was one of the most obvious ones opposed to the manager's tactics. Reports at the time indicated that Ronaldo was not in favor of Rangnick's high-pressing system that demanded a striker to initiate the press and lead in the defensive work. These are some of the same reservations Ronaldo holds with Eric Ten Hag's way of playing. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe to Man Untied Hub to get all the latest updates.